Morning. Morning. Sleep well? No. Did you do that? Yeah, I got bored. Well, I'm amazed you didn't notice. Well, it could have something to do with the fact that nobody ever looks at their number plate before they drive off. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> ah. Soon, they got their stupid cars going and we were on our way to the mountains. While I was asleep in my luxurious hotel bed last night, I came up with a bit of a plan. We'd head over the Pyrenees, into Spain, and down to Barcelona to try our cars on a very special track that I'd heard about. On the way, I'd prove my car was better, and at the circuit, I'd prove that even with me at the helm, it's faster as well. Here's what you need to know about old cars. They are great to look at, but you don't want to drive one any more than you want to use an old twin-tub washing machine. They're just crap. I honestly don't know what James May's on about. I don't like old stuff. He loves it. He can't get enough of it. He owns a 1977 Ferrari. He has a collection of ancient Honda motorcycles. Does he spend his spare time fixing computers or going to raves? No. He spends it eating old-fashioned pies and helping his friends rebuild a steam engine. I know some of you think I'm being deliberately obtuse driving this Honda, but I'm not. I promise you, I do genuinely like it. Not only does it hold the lap record for front-wheel drive cars around the Nürburgring, it's seven seconds faster than the old one. It's done that while becoming more refined. The engine's smoother, the ride's more supple. It's just a bit better all round. It's tremendous. It's also very easy to drive, which old cars are not. <laughs> Annoyingly, at slow speeds, James had a point. The Aston was a tricky little sod. That gearbox whine! It's quite pronounced. And then there was the change action. On balance, I think I prefer a, 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 a double clutch system with paddles. I'm just trying to do it with my shirt sleeves because it's quite chilly and that'll make a difference. Definitely getting colder. Fortunately, the 3.4 litre straight six generates so much heat and there is so little shielding that whilst my top half is cold, my bottom half is toasty warm. Window doesn't wind down, no vents, no air conditioning. No air in here at all, in fact. Just heat. What I'm being is casseroled. And soon, things got worse. I'm trying not to shiver. Because a thick fog descended. This meant we had to slow down even more. And that made the Aston even worse. This is very authentically 50s. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's sometimes quite difficult to get it into gear. I'm just going to try that in my car. Hold on. Let's have second gear. Mm. I'll even knock it down to first, yeah? Second, no, it works. Now mine's a piece of cake. But there's no sense of satisfaction, is there, when you do it right? Yeah, there is. After a little while, the fog went from thick to impenetrable. I can see pretty much nothing now. The lights don't help, and the windscreen wipers just move the water around on the windscreen. Literally can't see a thing now. Fog, rain, 
noise. A lot of noise. Yeah, I'm quite cold now. However, the impending hypothermia was not my main worry. Oh, my God. Not sounding... Yeah, it's not good. I'm having to slip the clutch to sort of keep it moving at all. Yeah, I think I'm down to three cylinders now. And then I had a good old 1950s breakdown. What's the matter with it? I think it's the spark plugs are all fouled up, gummed up. And... Well, don't tell James. Oh, well, where is he? I don't even know where my car is, and only parts of it were there. You can't see a damn thing. No, that's true. Well, at least he won't have seen me mm, doing this. He, must he could drive out. by. Well, uh, I'll... You go ahead. Look, tell him I'm behind him, or I'm ahead somewhere. I could only be 100 yards away. You I'll get back on the road. You get back on the road, tell him I'm there. Yeah. I'll, I'll and fix then you'll this. never know. Exactly. Tell him I'm having a lovely time, and... It's starting to rain, though, Hammond. Yes, I know. Have you got a jacket? No. Where's my bloody car? Has anyone... Can anyone see an Aston Martin anywhere? Hello? Hammond? I found a car here. It's... Oh, it's a... It's a Toyota. And they're, they're dogging. They really are, actually. That's quite embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're driving away now because they, they, they realise. <laughs> Hello, sorry, panel. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Leaving Hammond to his repairs on Dogger Bank, I made some changes in my car and set off to find James. Oh, yes. I have improved my Aston Martin. All of a sudden, my car makes sense. I can't hear it. And then I came across Asbo Man, who was immediately suspicious. Where's Hammond? Yeah, he's, he's in front of me. I'm driving right behind. I can see him plain as day. The fog is lifting, and I can't help noticing that Richard Hammond, who is supposedly in front of you, is driving uh, a Land Rover Discovery filming car. No, no, he uh, he overtook it. Uh, he roared off unbelievable speed. I couldn't keep up. His car's broken, hasn't it? No. Are your brakes squeaking? Oh, they're birds. It's bird song. Right, James, look out. There are cows followed by Hitler. Well, it's not Hitler, it's Winston Churchill. <coughs> the cow has attacked the Aston Martin. <coughs> Don't do that. Go and attack the Honda. Meanwhile, I'd got my car going again and was starting to regret it. Yeah, this is quite hard work now, I'll be honest. I'm getting pretty tired, but my left leg is agony. Gear change. Uh, ah! My knee hurts. Some of my ears, actually. I'm also quite cold. The truth is that in the fog, at slow speeds on James's ridiculous route, which was full of wartime leaders and attack cows, the older cars here had been hard work. But as we crested the Pyrenees, the fog lifted. This meant I could drive the Aston at the only speed it understands. Flat out. Of course, I could get past James May. I'm going into R mode. The lights on the instruments have gone red. Goodbye, Mr. Clarkson. He's going down! Oh, he's going down so 
a bad thing. They're all over the back of him now. I have more power and less weight. Come snouting around with his massive engine, but as soon as we get to the curves, I pull away. Coming through. <laughs> Ollie was back in front, and more importantly, back in love with my Aston. <laughs> what a car this is! Oh! You have to drive it. Every gear change has to be worked out. Every steering movement thought through. And you can never get to a corner and think, oh, I won't bother heel and toe again. You have to, or it won't go into gear.